sziasztok, ismét egy kis Mass Effect 3, igaz már végig játszottuk egyszer. Sepes és a ke alapértelműt. Csak a társak éki. Az érünk angol nyelven. Perélet nyelv az oroszban az orosz nyelvre való. Amíg körik nekem a perélethozás. Felbontás, teljes képernyő, fényerőve nem változtatok. És émítás és dinamikus árnyékok bekapcsoló. Orientált, akkor rúgó, hogy fejes téles sepőt valánsnak, nehézségi foka állítható, bár vezére átvezető módi kénytelennek meg. Szerepje, hőmosítatlan, massz effekt hangulat, testre szabható, karakterek is megválasztható, bár vezére opció, a harc nemességet szabadon változtató. Van a narratív, karakter megjelenése változtatható, interaktív, cinematikus történet vezére. Egyszerűsített harcokkal, a középső. Mi legyen a karakter neve? Alapértelmezett megjelenés, de személyes szobottat választunk. Hát vannak ez, amit generál a játék. Változtatni bőszintű kívül főr típus. Fej, nyak, arc, mélet, szélesség, arc, csont, szobácsák, fülök, fűr irány, a szemek. Na, más színű legyen a... Kék a szem, arca csupa terű. Zöld is. Hát 
Kellett forgatni, akkor egy kétre be kell tenni. Oj! Erre miért jobban fordul el, mint a... Nem vagy. Saka forma. Nagyon macsó. Már még elvileg ennek a színét is lehet változtatni. Veszi Várga Félharcos Örszem Ademtus vagy Mérne Egy 
ilyen földi születési. I've already lost count of the days since they relieved me of duty. Strange how years of your life can just vanish in the blink of an eye. Then in a flash, you've got nothing but time. Time to reflect on everything that's happened. Hard to believe it's been only a few years since this all began. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. My dad told Top, me we disciplined, could that. Ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. Dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof. Which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara, a Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, 
daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. Jó, első végigjátszásra Liarát választottam. I told Ash I wasn't interested in Liara. I had my eyes on someone else. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves. Mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. <laughs> Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. <laughs> 
Kayton vagy Ashley? Kayton was a good man and a great soldier. But I had to choose, and I chose Ash. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Ash saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Caden's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we'd put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reapers' return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs, were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice? Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, 
took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. But the Geth and Saren were just the beginning. The Reapers had other plans. A few months after the battle for the Citadel, <laughs> while we were on patrol, we were attacked by an unknown vessel. Before we knew what was happening, we were disabled and forced to abandon ship. The Normandy was destroyed. We lost a lot of good people. I almost didn't make it myself. Technically, I was as close to death as you can get. By the time my body was recovered, there wasn't much left. The pro-human group, Cerberus, acquired what was left of my body and spent the next two years rebuilding me. My memories, abilities, everything. The person in charge of my recovery was a Cerberus agent, Miranda Lawson. Brilliant and efficient. But before I could be completely rehabilitated, the Cerberus facility we were in was attacked and was forced to fight my way out. In my condition, I should have died. But an ex-Alliance soldier named Jacob Taylor kept me alive. We found Miranda and we escaped. They took me to meet the elusive man, the leader of Cerberus and the one who had ordered me rebuilt. The elusive man lived up to his name, offering half answers to many of my questions. But he did explain why he had brought me back. He believed I was the one person who could stop the Reaper threat. And he explained that the Reapers had a new ally, an insectoid race called the Collectors, the ones who had attacked the Normandy two years earlier. Since that time, they'd been systematically abducting entire human colonies and taking them beyond the Omega-4 Relay, a place that no ships other than Collector ships ever returned from. The elusive man wanted me to find out why humans were being abducted and to end it. In return, Cerberus would outfit me with a rebuilt Normandy, weapons, and a skeleton crew, as long as I agreed to take along Miranda, Jacob, and an illegal AI named Edie. I told the elusive man I wanted my own team, people I knew. He already had a list of individuals that he wanted, people that might be willing to go on a suicide mission, to head beyond the Omega-4 relay and face the unknown. It was an interesting list. Ex-convicts, assassins, experimental scientists. In the end, it was my choice. It would take time and effort to recruit them all, and with more humans disappearing every day, I wasn't sure I should bother. I decided I needed all the help I could get. Recruiting the team took me all over the galaxy. Along the way, I met some old friends. They were quick to join, despite the risks. As for the rest, finding them and convincing them to join me on a suicide mission was difficult. But keeping them from killing each other was next to impossible. They only had to stay alive long enough to complete the mission. I wasn't sure what difference it would make if they were happy doing it. But if we were going to survive this, our best chance was to make sure everyone was working together. I tried to recruit and reconnect with a few of my old squad, but they were suspicious of Cerberus. No doubt why they weren't on the elusive man's list to begin with. Worse, they had moved on. For two years, they'd believed I was dead and lost. Now, now I was headed off on another suicide mission. If things were going to get better between us, it would take time. But I was running out of time. Yeah. Maybe once the mission was over, we could try to reconnect. With most of the team recruited, we were getting close. We just needed to figure out how to survive the Omega-4 relay. Our best chance came when we discovered a damaged collector ship. We went in knowing it could be a trap, but we had to try. What we found there was almost unbelievable. The collectors weren't a new race at all. They were the twisted remnants of the Protheans, slaves of the Reapers, and humans were the next target. The collectors were abducting tens of thousands of humans for the Reapers, and unless we could find a way to stop them, we'd end up just like the Protheans. We had to escape before we could find out the secrets of the Omega-4 Relay. But we were more determined than ever to put a stop to the Collectors. All we needed now was a way through the Relay. Edie had figured out what we needed, and the elusive man knew where to find it. We stole parts from a derelict Reaper to mask our ship's signature, to make the Normandy appear as a Reaper and allow us safe passage. As soon as we had what we needed, Joker and Edie began testing. But while I was away on a mission with the team, the Collectors attacked the Normandy, determined to destroy it before we could finish the tests. Joker and Edie did their best to fight them off. They saved the ship, but the entire crew was abducted. 
taken beyond the Omega-4 relay. Jacob wanted to go immediately and rescue the crew. Edie and Miranda wanted more time to prepare before we attacked. We had everything we needed to get through the Omega-4 relay safely. I wouldn't risk the lives of the crew by waiting. Eventually, we were ready to go. I gathered everyone to go over the plan. We all knew this was likely a one-way ticket. The team was as ready as they could be, but they were nervous. We knew this could be our last day together. We were scared and looking for reassurance. Some of us found it in each other. Igazság szerint Mirandával bonyolultunk össze a második részben. Tehát ez csak lehet, hogy opció lehetett volna, de. Tally came to my room to talk, share her thoughts. We spent the night together, comforting each other. The day of the attack, everything went as planned, at first. The Normandy made it safely through. As we scanned the wreckage of all the ships that had failed before us, we found what we were looking for, the Collector base. And guarding it, the ship that had destroyed the Normandy two years ago and almost ended my life. But this time, we were the attacker. The Normandy sustained heavy damage. We lost some of the team, but eventually we destroyed the Collector's ship and made our way to their base. We knew the fighting inside would be brutal. We arrived intact, and the team was strong, resilient. We repelled every attack thrown at us. Eventually, we made it to the heart of the base. To this day, I can hardly believe what we saw there. The collected humans had been dissolved, transformed and repurposed to create the frame for a new Reaper. A massive human Reaper abomination. We had no choice but to destroy it. The battle caused severe damage to the base, but we needed to destroy it completely. As I prepped explosives to finish the job, we received a message. The elusive man. He didn't want us to destroy the base at all. He wanted to preserve it. He wanted to study how the humans were transformed into the abomination we'd seen. To use the technology of the Collectors to help defeat the Reapers. I always suspected the elusive man had his own motives, but I couldn't agree with him on this. We had stopped the Collectors. We would find a way to stop the Reapers without sacrificing our morality in the process. We destroyed the base, completely, and escaped back through the Omega-4 relay. The mission was over, but we paid a price for our success. We lost almost half the team, but at least we were able to rescue the crew in time. And in the end, we stopped the Reapers from creating a human Reaper abomination. And we bought everyone just a little more time. If only there was more time. The Reapers are still coming. Every day a bit closer. I handed every piece of intel on the Collectors and Cerberus over to the Alliance Brass. They're not sure what to make of it. But at least they're listening. I just hope they figure out what to do about it soon. Before time runs out for all of us. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word the fleets are mobilizing. God help us all.
kiderül, hogy öt év mint választgattam, akkor az opcióból mi van rá. Commander, you're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. You know we're not ready if it is, then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. That blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us. What they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done? Any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard! Ashley? I asked the Lieutenant Commander to come. Thought you might want to see a familiar face. Lieutenant Commander? How to go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? That take. No, I hadn't. Sorry, Shepard. It's been... well... That's okay. Just glad I bumped into you, Ash. Me too. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. I think I'm going to go to the gate. 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 Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual.
haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Hand us enough. Reaper called Harbinger, a myth common to Sovereign, was the first Reaper encountered. When subjected, biotics is the ability. Metagel is a common omni tool once believed to be of Prothean origin. Mass relay element zero can increase or. Admiral Stephen Hack, Admiral David, Ed Lieutenant Commander Ash. When the Asari discovered in the early 21th, two centuries ago, the Elcor are a the Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. The Hanar, the Krogan evolved, driven from their home system by the Geth nearly the Volus are a member species of the system. Earth, the home the system's alliance is in the Asari were the second species roughly twelve hundred years ago.
Technikus tapasztalatot választom, akkor gyorsabbak és erősebbek a tech képességeink. Megnövelt ügyesség és nagyobb karizma. Az elsőt választjuk, akkor mit tudom, 4%-kal nem a hírnevünk, a képesség 10-szel, illetve a tervírásom 10-szel. Jelenleg egy pontba kerül. Come on! We'll have to go this way. Looks clear. Let's go. Lieutenant Commander, you read me. I'm passing in Shepard. We're about five minutes out. Say again. Commander! Gavin! Come on, we gotta move! Take him out! I'm out of ammo! Good work, let's keep moving! Great, that should do it, but I'm not going to do it. Have to take these things out the old fashioned way. That's better because they're hard to down on that. Just like basic, hey! Two ways to use a rifle. You okay? I'm good. Good. The Reaper called Husks are the aggressive, mindless foot soldiers of the Reaper armies. They are created by impaling either living or dead humans on mechanical spikes that rapidly extract water and trace minerals and replace them with cybernetics. These cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into horrifying killing machines. The Reapers use large groups of husks to overwhelm the enemy. The husks' inability to feel pain as well as their tendency to attack in groups makes them particularly deadly adversaries. I need to find another way through. Watch it! Through this way. Hey. It's okay. Everyone's dying. Someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't stop them all. Shepard! In here. Machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel, talk to the Council. We'll go, if that's what you think we need to do. It might be the only thing that saves us.
The Council has to help us. You sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. <laughs> Thank you. Grab some ammo. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station, presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. Although melee combat applications for the Omni-Tool are almost as old as the device itself, the feature was largely unused prior to the Reaper invasion. The need to take on multiple husks in close quarters forced the Alliance to develop ways to enhance the tool's offensive capability. The most common melee design is the Omniblade, a disposable silicon carbide weapon flash forged by the tool's mini fabricator. The transparent, nearly diamond hard blade is created and suspended in a mass effect field safely away from the user's skin. Warning lights illuminate the field so the searing hot blade only burns what it is intended to the opponent. More technically adept soldiers frequently modify their Omni-Tools to maximize stopping power through electrical, kinetic, or thermal energy. Some troops integrate the weapon with their kinetic barriers, transforming the Omni-Tool into a wrist-mounted bludgeon. Others fabricate flammable gases, held in place by a mass effect field, and ignited upon impact. All prove deadly surprises for opponents who expect a disarmed Alliance warrior. Reload, let's keep moving. Stop. Lieutenant Commander Williams, we're inside of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. Lieutenant Commander! Ashley! Damn it, they're in trouble. Okay. Opa. I'll 
Normandy, we're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come in. They're not reading us? Come on. We've got to find a way to get through to them. Friendlies. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. Keep your head down. Nice job. The Reaper called Cannibals are frontline Reaper units created from corrupted Batarians. The nickname refers to their propensity to devour the bodies of fallen comrades. This triggers a biochemical process through which the cannibals spontaneously heal themselves and grow new chitinous armor. The transformation also appears to give cannibals a greater awareness of their surroundings, leading to more strategic behavior and careful use of battlefield cover. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. Come on. Let's get to that gunship. They're not friendly, whatever they are. This is bad. It's worse than... The daddy. God, how did we let this happen? This is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. <laughs> Lieutenant! <laughs> Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast. We've got company. Uh, 
Gyerekszertét most nem török váltani. Welcome back, Shepard. Thanks. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard.
följt fyra men så flott. Ez volt a bevezetés. És a prologus. Hangar seal. Decompressing. Welcome aboard, Commander. Edie, it's good to hear your voice. You flying us? <laughs> Seriously? That hurts, Shepard. <laughs> hey, Joker. It's good to hear you, too. No time for chit-chat. We got inbound, and we are seriously outnumbered. Understood. But we're not staying. What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel. Get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. We don't have a choice. Without help, this war's already over. Forget it. Drop me off someplace. Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander. I'm receiving a priority call from Admiral Hackett. He's requesting Admiral Anderson. Hmm. Patch it through. Admiral, it's Commander Shepard. Anderson is on... Shepard, sustained heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to... find outpost on Mars. Yes, sir. I can tell you that the chances are that they're going to be able to get the hang of it. Doctor Tassoni. Who knows what they're doing? The Reapers. The only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars. Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. Sign of Reaper activity? Negative. Edie? The base appears to be online. It's possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll know soon enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. Normandy out. We're almost there. Still no contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. Reálisan másra vezényelt a Normandia. Azokért a protoján adatokért, amik segíthetnek elpusztani a kaszásokat. Ám a marson lévő Arimú nem válaszolnak a hívásokra. Vizsgáld meg az ásatást és találd meg a szükséges protoján adatokat. 
Cerberus built the Normandy SR-2 as a second-generation version of the Alliance frigate SSV Normandy after the collectors destroyed the original. The SR-2's many alterations produced a craft nearly double the original size, requiring an even larger Tantalus drive core to compensate. Its state-of-the-art Kodiak shuttle can make landings the original Normandy could not attempt. The Enhanced Defense Intelligence, an AI known colloquially as Edie, coordinates many of the ship's combat functions, assisting and even supplanting human piloting. The Alliance has recently appropriated and refurbished the SR-2. In addition to tight beam communicators, the Quantum Entanglement Communicator, QEC, provides instantaneous contact with Alliance Command. Lényegében a micsodába szálltunk le most Normandiával szállunk, de az a kis hajó mint az imitétel az micsoda a Kodiákkal a kis iklóval. Órák kérdése volt csupán, hogy a kasztások bevegyék a földet. A szövetség tudta, hogy az első hullámon batári felségőből fog érkezni. De mégis felkészült minden értőket a támadás sebesség és mérete. A kaszások egyszerűen megkerülték a 6. és 7. flottát a Terranovánál és az Éden egyesnél. Egyes egyenes a reléig utaztak, hogy ne tudják őket se követ, sem követni, sem feltartóztatni. A taktika meglepetésként ért az embereket, hiszen egyetlen organikus faj flottásért kockáztatta volna a támadás és itt távolságon belül lépjen ki FPS sebességből, vagy ellenséges egységet hagyja hátra, melyik fenyegetés jelentének az ellátási vonalainknak. Az áthívsz államosnak több tucat kaszás vezérhajó szállt szembe a szövetség második, a harmadik és ötödik flottájáról. De ezzel csupán csak egy igazi támadó, az egy csupán az igazi támadót fedezték. Sokkal több vezérhajó folytatja útját a Kamaron, Kamaron lenén túlra, ahonnan az első flotta válta őket, mint hiába. A földön állomásodó negyedik flotta, a támadás előtt pár perci réte ugyan a figyelmeztetés, de ők is, is igen hamar felszámolták. A fő kommunikációs bolnak elpusztítása után csak kisebb kaszás pusztítók eltörélték minden GPS és kommunikációs műholdat a föl körül. Majd elvágták minden tenger alatti optikai kábolt, mert összekötött a kontinenseket egymással. A földi ellenemásnak kopiáj előregedett rádióntanak és pár pantok összefonálódásos kommunikátorra kell támaszkodni, melyeket a párja pont egy másik kontinensen vagy naprendszeren kívül található. A kommunikáció annyira korlátozott, hogy homály felé egész nemzetek sorsát. A vezérhajók védelm létesítményeket és ipari központokat támadnak, földig rombolva pármilliós milliós lakosú városokat, mint Edelé, Hamburg, Ácsubányi vagy Portsworth. Minden, mindeközben a kosztás pusztító szálltak alá, hogy járhatatlan tegyék az országutakat, elfogadják a nagyobb népességi központokat, minimális ellenállás em emberveszteséggel. Viszont nem szabad könnyűtelenül feltételezni ott, ahol nincs. Sokkal valószínűbb, hogy összeterék az embereket, így legyék még könnyebbé a betakarítást. A Bordó közé harcászati kiképzés BHK rendszereinek szövetségének legmagasabb rangú katonai iskolái hajtvezetés és harci szakértelemmel kapcsolatos ismeretek terül. A BHK vagy ahol néhányan emlegetik az Enni iskola, avagy a Will tiszteket toboroz a föld hadseregének minden területére, hogy embert próbáló kúzusokon vegyenek részt a Rio de Janeiro villamutárban. A jelöltek kezdetben több mint napi 20 órás gyakorlaton vesznek részt, mely során kisebb csapatokat kell vezényelni kevőség és területen. Közben keveset alhatnak vagy ehetnek. Megfelelő teljesítményű gyakornokat N1-es rendfokozattal utalmazzák, és meghívást kapnak a készüléskor folytatására. További kurzusok engedtőt a lenthatokig. Gyakran más bolygókat tartják, és olyan elemeket alkalmaznak, mint a nulla, 
gravitációs környezetben zajló harc, katonai eltévelnyedés, repülés, csetbekke, harcászati merülés és egyéb harci és nyelvi szeti oktatások, harctéri sérülések, kezelése, ember és idegen biológiához. Az N6-os fokozat képzés legmagasabb szintje, amely valódi harc tapasztalatokat biztosít a fegyveres konfliktusokban. Valaki számos területén, amennyiben gyakorlatú, bármonatos és hatékony módon éli túl ezt a megpróbációt, akkor végül megkapja az áhított emletes kinevezést. Ez az egyetlen BHG rendfokozat, ami a harcmezőn is tíz egyenlően is viselhetnek. Egy N7-es kurzus kurácot vallani nem jelent szégyent, a kikérdés ugyanis annyira durva, hogy még az N1-es megszerzés is tiszteletet vezet szintre emeli a tisztet. Pusztán az akadémi hallgatóinak kell lennie, hogy akkor a presztízse bír, hogy a gyakorok nem is vállalhatnak túlzott kockázatokat magasabb szintek elérése végét. Abár a PHK szerint képzés, képesítés önmagában nem garantált előléptetést, a programot sikeresen teljesítő tisztek valahogy általában ki van alkalmasod magasabb katonai vezetők hoztak betöltését. Egyszerűségén növeljük az életeket, mit tudom, hogy viszont ez 15%-kal növel az életerők és pajzsunkat, illetve középharc és egy részünket. Hát van, amik úgy lehetem a facsapás és a lövegtorony később elérhetővé ez. Az elektromos berendezés ellenfelekre pedig kábítóházás gyakorló. Gyorsabb. Itt némelyik az ott ére következő szinthez még ennyi pont kell hozzá. Szabotálja a fegyvereket és megzavarja a szintetikusokat. Itt ére most már az adott dolgokat mit fejleszt. Inkább elejébb az, az életéreiket maxoljuk ki, a szövetségi tisztnek kell az estnek. Mivel az fegyver, ez kritikus gyagát. Ez konkrétan két pontba kerülni, de nekünk csak egy van. Zöld nem mutatja, mit fejlesztene. Ezt nem kell fegyvermesterke. Itt 
tér egy attól függően mennyi van nálunk befolyásolja hogy a képességek használat. Cerberus, weren't they? Sure looked like it. What's Cerberus doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know? I'm not with them anymore, Ash, if that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit convenient. Most ők alkotják a Cerberus er gerinceit, erőnek gerinceit. Azok a jelenkezők, akik kibírják a fárasztó alakékézést, tovább juthatnak egy intenzív sziológiai foglalomba. Ami után félelmet nem ismerik könnyedén, ám a félelmet is katona válik belőlük. Ezek a személyre szabott páncélal és fegyverekkel felszerelt gyalogosok határozott pontossággal és jobb begyakorolt csapatmunkával köztenek. Esőnként harcokat, hevébe rohanó rommosztogosok, remek összhangban dolgoznak az erősebb egységekkel. Ugye stratégia, ez lefoglalják az ellenfelek egészen addig, amíg túl késő nem lesz egyesített szerverős haró oderő legyűlésé. Great answer. 
Sir Shepard. Ash. Look, don't ash me. Do you know anything about this? What is Cerberus doing here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You worked for them. How am I supposed to believe you've cut all ties? We joined forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. They rebuilt you from scratch. They gave your ship, resources... Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now, or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. I just... You of all people should know what I'm about, Ash. Please, trust me. I do. It's just that. Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the Goddess you're alive. Liara. I was worried when the reports came in. They hit Earth hard. Yeah. It was... difficult to leave. Ashley, I'm sorry. James. James Vega. I didn't expect to see you here, Liara. I could say the same. But why'd you come here? Hack had ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When I got the data on the Alpha Relay incident, I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. I contacted him as an information broker, and we pooled our resources looking for a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... I was under house arrest. There wasn't much I could do to help you anyway. I suppose you're right. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. We've got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. They're getting closer. We should take cover.
Looks like they found us. They've got the high ground. Not a problem for someone with biotics. Shepard. Can't just shoot them. That's all of them. Good. Let's find a way up. So you've seen the data on this weapon. You think it can help? No, I didn't have access to the archives. Not yet. Hackett was arguing to get me access when... Earth won't last long. We need answers now. Don't worry, we're close. We could have saved a lot of lives if the Alliance had tried as hard as you to find answers. Exactly. Shepard megmenti, aztán elárulja a doktor nene, hogy tudja, hogy két hamarosan megérkeznek a kaszások, és tudják, hol érkeznek, hogy azt, azt a relét el akarják pusztítani. Amit elvileg azt mondja, hogy Shepard nem lehet elpusztítani a reléket, mert ez szerintem tudni. This is a secure station. How did Cerberus get in? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. So well, it's a good thing. I don't know what I should tell you. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 Kiderül, hogy találtak az a... Nem tudom, hogy... És fogalmi... Találtak egy eszközt, ami egy kaszás dolog, és ott lévő személyzet átszesik egy súlykoláson. Tehát, hogy... A játék magyaráz súlykolásnak, hogy... Átveszik az emberek felett az uralmat. Befolyásolni. És ebből meg menet közben... Ryan is an art fetish. Chuck had to make a good improv out of it. Book shop music. Make some kick. The kid who just took on a different work for the gates man. He was here to be served a little. Of course. Yep. As you wish. Chuck was a fool, Janet. I'm just here to check on you. és az adás megszakítja a doktor és így a segély figyelmeztetési jel nem megy el. Hogy 
Természetesen, hogy baktaljanak, adják el az ő naprendszerüket. A blaster erre fel, el meg sem visíti a relét, mert egy kötő sebbőnek sikerül meglógni. Ezért kerül úgymond katonai felfüggesztés alá már ennek az eseménye alapján a harmadik rész kezdetén. Cerberus built, originally created to covertly insert Alliance Marines into hostile environments, the UT-47 shuttle has since been sold to allies, recovered by enemies, and had its specifications stolen by spies. In one form or another, this durable transport is now used in all corners of the galaxy. A-model Kodiaks feature a front-mounted mass accelerator cannon that can be used in an anti-vehicular role. Since the shuttle lacks proper gun ports, soldiers often open the side hatch to fire on enemies. This is discouraged in Alliance manuals since it exposes the interior to return. In recent years, the pro-human syndicate known as Cerberus has seen its influence grow galaxy-wide. The largely untraceable organization now includes private intelligence agencies, biotics laboratories, research facilities, and the lucrative corporations that provide a front for it all. Cerberus's charismatic leader, known only as the Elusive. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the Citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities. Admiral Stephen, Dr. Liara Tassoni is an Asari information broker with a background in scientific research on Prothean technology. Born on Thessia in 2077, she is the only child of the late matriarch Benezia. Although mother and daughter became estranged in the years before Benezia was indoctrinated by the Reaper known as Sovereign, Tassoni is also a high. Most az életerőnket befolyásolja 25 százalékkal, hogy a baj sem lesz. Ez kerül két pontban, maradt egy ponton, azt még nem tudom használni. Most először elmondjuk, valahogy utána kifejleszik a többi nekik. Az életerő és a baj, hogy a fegyveres van 30 százalékkal. Itt ilyen konkrétan most tudom. Következő szint az már három pontba fog kerülni. Nem szint lép be senkit, azt hiszem egyet vagy kettőt kapnak talán. Első három szintig egy fogom, te meg elágazó döntöd el, most melyikét akarok fejleszteni. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Hey, did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Kore. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right, 
Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. Cameron Harris, Fenzet Exogeni Vállalat, második évben játszottak egy kicsit több szerepet, a belsőben volt egy kicsit. Miss Minka, köszönjük, hogy ön megismétett alájátait a bizonyos újak és csúcsmodernek nevezett technológiákkal kapcsolatban. Azonban, am amiként eddig is ismétett, hogy csak vissza kell utasítanom könyvet a jogi konzultásaim. Ismét csak átnevezték ön át a benyújtott szerződések, és újfent hiányosak, illetőleg vagy röviden fogalmazom, érdektelennek nyilvánította. Kérjük, lehet, hogy legtöbben ne keressen minket az ön nagy lelki alájátával tisztelette. Szia, szerviszem! Zavarni fogja a vihar a kommunikációt. Hát mindjárt magyarázat, nem tudom, hogy felhúzni a vihar valamit. Ki a fene ez a nő, aki a vállaimban turká? Azonnal tüntesd el innen, nem fogom hagyni valami önjelölt szakértő, aki. Aki jövő héten lelép, szétkúrja a rendszerémet. A francba tetves idegenekkel, akik azt hiszik, hogy mindent tudnak is. De valójában nem is érdekli őket, hogy mi az igazából mi nem is próbáltam ki elérni. Még hogy doktor Ave, ez most komoly. Nem emlékszem rá, hogy mi történt legutóbb. Nincs már sok hátra. Focsit mentek. Ne akkor nekünk is. Itt lehetne a automatikusan szabályozni most. Itt van. Akarom fogulat eldönteni most, mit fejleszünk, mert most közel sejtésünket nevelik 20%-kal. Ez az egyet. Hát, még nem tudom, mert... Találnak valamit. Flashlights. 
someone. We need to get them away from the core. Check the next room. It's dark in there. Want me to shut the windows? No, not unless you want to decompress this room, too. I don't see anyone. Come on, there's no one alive in there. Let's get moving. Egyébként van, mint egy kisebb fekete lyukot csinál a liat. Did you know any of these people, Liara? I recognize a few, but I can't say I knew them. As the only Asari here, I think perhaps I was viewed with a little suspicion. I spent most of my time researching alone, translating. I'm still not clear on what you discovered. Bits and pieces, really. Clues. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. In that time, the few Prothean survivors searched desperately for a way to stop the Reapers. If my translations are correct, they found a way. But in the end, they didn't have the resources to follow through with their plan. Pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, looks like there's a recording of what happened here. Security station. Come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor? I'll get you a report as soon as... Oh, Dr. Ava Walters, thank you. I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Come on, Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. When there's so much at stake, I just think about what I'd lose if I fail. <laughs> That's a terrible burden. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. Thanks, I want to believe you. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. százalékkal javítsa a pontosája a célkereszt. Erre csak két dolgot lehet rá bomba ránni. Nem, 
Felére csökkent a fegyver súlya. és kompozit pajzsal kezdékben szomog és változták az emberi tapok megfelelőjét. Az erbősz kötörékében fajsúlyjal miatt hidrolikus rásegítésük és ehhez igazított energiállátása felszerelt páncézatot hogy kell hordani. Ezt a kivételes védelmet a környezet leképező rendszereikkel kombinálva a gáristák, az ellenség megkerülés és a fedezékeik felszállandósára koncentrálva. A gáristák túl lassak, de könnyelten szomogások az ellenség tüzelének elvonása mellett, annak megfélmelítésé szóval. Ám ha netán elveszteni még pajzsuk, alig több egy szimpla ágyi töltelé. Egy ponttal nem tudok még csinálni, kettő egy kéne. És a múlva három. Amelia, ettől szom címzett Michael O. O. Sullivan. Hé, hülye gyerek! Meg sem kérdezem, hogy van? Miért? Mivel tudom, hogy a megfázás szímén baktériumtok szapart az a raktár. Nézd, tudom, hogy a protein vigyautok benyűgözőek meg minden, de jó lenne, ha többet nem éjszakadnátok, és betartanánk az előjét elvás idejét. Na most komolyan, na mindegy, elküldtem a legutóbbi feljelzerezésének a földi központba is valamilyen nyomás mentesít a területet, szóljatok biztonság. se. És konkrétan amikor írta meghalt. Ez a Haka Deke, Zandoval Fletcher. Igaz, ne is mond, két külső szakértők, pláne, még ugyanazon a héten mit mondjak meredek, de figyelj hát. Én már ezt hallottam egy is mást, korábban arról az Asszáriú. Sokan ismerik és bámatos kutató munkával bír a protaján. Bár arról, hogy Dr. Éva vagy milyen tyúk, nem sokat tudok. Azonban Liarat, a Szaumi, egy tutira nagy ágyű. Csatorok pár munkájával kapcsolatot 
oktatásaival kapcsolatban. Megéri el olvas. ne aggódj, amire végig, te is rögtön. Be fogod látni, mi eddig azon volt. Már alig várom, hogy találkozom a többékkel. Izgalmas dolgok elég nézik, Török a Cerberus frontból meri taktikai szakértői. Feladatok a rejtőzködő stratégiai, fickó stratégiai céljának megvalósulása. Már nyilvánvaló, hogy az összeszti fűzések és forgatkönyvények megváltoztatását való alkalmazkodásban olykor adottat némi lemaradásuk. Egyetlen hasznos dolog, amit a szövetségi hészhez is összegyűjtett a centóriókról, fegyverzetük közködhető minden centórió egy M. 96-os metró füstgránát vetővel módosított nehéz gépkarabét volt, melye könnyen keresztűzbe fogható prédává teszik az ellenségét. Az volt az a füstölés. Addigra meg tudja a lógni, vagy megkártulja a váltást. What's that smell? They just activated the decontamination protocols. With the staff still inside. This is 
where they studied the various relics unearthed here. What did they find? More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. Személyes jegyzet esetben nem csak a tudunk megfejteni a nyelvből, de a sik, valami sikerül egyáltalán de képi dokumentációkat adnak a népi néhány ötletre. Hogy és mit tanulmányoznak történetesen minket. Alapján, hogy a fájlokat rendszerezték és különböféle jelölésekkel eszközöltek bennük, roppant mód érekelte az emberiség és porai evolúciós folyamata. Némileg lenyűgöző erről érni, ám minden erre arról mutat, hogy fel akarták térképezni az emberiség intellektuális felelésének irányát. Mester, te vész puskához így. A szabítás történet százalékkal nagyobb a csebet már a fegyver. Where they studied the various relics unearthed here. What did they find? Oh, no, more than I could describe in a short yeah, conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. Line takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. Look out! No kidding. Is that the only way in? It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around it. Stay out of its sights. I'll move up first. Don't let it target you!
Keep moving. Megtérmezt a vétlen ellenfelek közében könnyen összezúzott a, a fagyasztó hatás nem jön légy, de akkor is lelassítja az ellenséget. Ez egy telepítető nehéz fegyver, fedezét tudja biztosítani. Ekkor szintén kap egyet. Kutatási jegyzet 10 lesz. Első helyszín valószínűleg teljesen elapant tevar kommunikációs rendszerek elrendezés és első felfedezett protein kutató bázis tartalék energiakészleti alapján úgy hiszük, hogy van egy második bázis valahol a föld mélyén. Igaz, igaz további feltárások már engedélyekkel kérnünk a fejesektől. Ám látva, hogy munkánk iránti megújuló felkeserék, nem hinném, hogy ez különösebben gondot jelentene. They've made it to the archives. And it looks like they won't be sitting a tram anytime soon. Can you override? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not completely. What if we could find a short-range transmitter? Helmet to helmet. And? 
And then we convince them that we're with them. And the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. Yes. What? The Lieutenant Commander has become very capable. That she has. Shepard, I found something. I'm going to reprogram this turret, just in case they send a tram with some of their friends in it. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... Oh! Oh, God. Wow. He looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. Engineered? By Cerberus? They claim to stand for humanity, and they do this to their own people. That could have been you, Shepard. For all I knew, that's what Cerberus had done to you. How can you compare me to that thing? I don't know what you are. Not since they got their hands on you. Is it really you in there? Do you even know? I mean, could they be controlling you? Ash. I'm just talking out loud. I don't need you to answer. I, I doubt there's anything you could say to convince me. I guess I just need some time to get to know you again. To find the guy I used to love. I'm the same person I always was, Ash. And I want you with me. Wherever this takes us. That's what I needed to hear. Good. Let's see if we can get that tram sent over here. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, LC. The turrets reprogrammed should give them pause when they arrive. The Reaper called... Reaper indoctrination is an insidious means of corrupting organic minds. Reprogramming the brain through physical and psychological conditioning using electromagnetic fields, infrasonic and ultrasonic noise, and other subliminal methods. The Reaper's resulting control over the limbic system leaves the victim highly susceptible to its suggestions. Organics undergoing indoctrination may complain of headaches and buzzing or ringing in their ears. As time passes, they have feelings of being watched and hallucinations of ghostly presences. Ultimately, the Reaper gains the ability to use the victim's body to amplify its signals, manifesting as alien voices in the mind. Indoctrination can create perfect deep cover agents. A Reaper's suggestions can manipulate victims into betraying friends, trusting enemies, or viewing the Reaper itself. I'm on it. Got it. Here they come.
tape it, too, except that I'm going to get to you. Let's try to medicate as my problem. Way of HD, old Alaza, shake the soul good. Navigate your shaggy cheek for the loaf. Dorsment is. Ruggish, good at the dish, good fed well, I could air. Watch you like a dish. A hadoklás elnyújtása az a pittom, hogy csinál, nem működik. Multiplayer, vagy... Ich 
csak felépítem. A súlya, kevesebb lőszer van hozzá, rosszabb a tűzgyaszossága, mondjuk a nagyobb vagy sebez, és pontosabb. Shepherd. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proves that. I destroyed that base because I didn't trust you with the information. 
this isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prophean data. Work with me. Give me control of your resources, and I'll stop them. You'd do better than most, but the odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard. And I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool. An agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey! Step away from the console. Now! She's got the data! She's faster than she looks. Stay close. We can't lose her. I think I caught a man, you know. Watch out! Over there! Down there! I'm going to get back to the other side of the map, so I'm going to get back to the other side of the map. Finish her. No! At most, this thing ain't worth nothing. Copies, toy, demi, dead. Grab that thing. 
bring it with us. Shepard, we got Reaper signatures in orbit. Ash. Come on, Ash. I'm getting you out of here. Ashley needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. That's all Hold on, Ash. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the calm room. Shepard, are you reading me? Command. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Ashley's been hurt. We're taking her to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Ez volt a kontor, ez a fonalulásos tudsz a kommunikáció. Commander, Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Ash? I've done what I can for her. She needs proper medical attention soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Most ezt kivételesen nem tudom mi rohadt, ez... What about Lieutenant Vega? Lieutenant Vega is recovering well. He's lucky he escaped with so few injuries. You know, he kind of reminds me of you. When you were younger, when we first met. He's headstrong and leaps before he thinks. He's gonna get himself killed. Like I said, he reminds me of you. Anyway, I think he'll make a good addition to your crew. Hmm. I guess we could use the help. I'm sure Ashley will recover. She's a soldier, a fighter. Yeah. There's time before we reach the Citadel. You should rest. I'll rest when this is over. You've got too much to do. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. 
hogy ez csak mert mit tudom melyik verziót választottak, vagy hogy születését azt azért van így benne. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial? Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. <clears throat> I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. Vébe, hát hogy az ember is bele tudni ebből a térképet. Itt jöttünk az egyes az a Normandia légiségekből. Kettes az utasvára. Ott van valami Diana Aleve. Hármas a királytól felérzett. Négyes pedig a biztonsági ellenőrző pont ahol most vagyunk. Itt elvileg lehet váltani a Pellegvári követség. Itt van az F-fade iroda. Ahunk van. Azért mint akivel beszélgettünk. Béli parancsnok. A kettes itt Udina irodája. Itt ki is írja. A hármas a Phantom Irodan a miénk. A négyes lesz a követségi irodák, az ötös pedig a sima irodák. Pedig az emlék kórház, itt lehet bejönni. Ja, hát az ez a micsoda az érm és ilyen vásárló dolgok. Szóval egyes a beteg váró, kettes a laborok, a beteg váróban van a szóval a doktor Chuckfest és doktor Michel. A hármas a fekvő beteg szárny. A négyes pedig a vizsgáló szóval ott lenne a hármasban esli valahol. Fellegvár. A tanácsa tájékoztani kell a kaszás fenyegetési valamint arról, hogy a protián szerkezetre, ami valószínűleg képes lett megállítani őket. Menje, Udina tanácsnak irodájá, jó fellegvár, és győzd meg őket a tanácsot, hogy küldjenek segítséget a kaszások elleni harchoz. Kóldexben jött meg. Earth, 
a political economic pact for collective colonial security, the Alliance is the central galactic institution of human society. The Alliance gained associate membership to the Citadel Council in 2165 and full membership in 2183, with Ambassador David Anderson representing humanity. Human political economic relationships vary between combative and lucrative. The Turians, who'd fought humans during the 2157 First Contact War, have become valuable trade partners, despite residual social hostility. In recent years, the elusive man is a human loyalist focused on advancing the interests of his species, whatever the cost to non-humans and reportedly humans. The Citadel Council regards him as a fanatic, who poses a serious threat to galactic security. The reclusive tycoon is the head of Cerberus, an organization that furthers his... Piros csillag pedig a renegát. Kaptunk a szövetségtő 10 ezer kreditet. Illetve még 25 ezeret. So why would he be here unless he's seeing the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard. Nick, I'm sorry, Mr. Hartal. I'm going to leave. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you wanted an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. The council called the invaders. I got my to Szövetségi hírháló az SSH, SHH, emberiség, űrbéli, teljeszkedéség, korai évtizedi hozták léte. Eredőd egy kis, form, egy kis formátum írközlő szervezet volt, amely leginkább az első kapcsolat hábrólat lepleződött, leplezés sorozatába vált ismerté. A központi, egy célkitűzési galasztik szerte biztosított tájékoztatás volt. Ezért az ismert világű több bolygónás irodákat nyitottak. Kiváltságáért díjakat nyert, valamint különböző fajokon átívelő nézettséget éremelt ki. Bár az elnevezés erre utal, az SHH létrehozása nem köszön, köthető a rendszerek szövetségéhez, ez pedig állandó félrejtesség forrását képezi. Tulajdonosi struktúrát láthatóvá. Tett a hálózat nem létőt egy nagy kókkaló eladása egy média konglomerátumnak. Az új vezetés átváltotta még inkább szenzáció hagy az megközelítésre. Ez nyilván nyom követhető tudósító köztetételében bekövetkezett változás alapján sok nagy évkéten nyugdíjazását vagy elment más hírszolgáltatókhoz. A hálózat mind inkább szenzációk a kélezett program tervezése széles körben keltette fel a figyelmet. A várakozásnak megfelelően javította a minőséget is. Ezzel a vezetés számára igazolta az új irányvonal létjogosultságát. Minden mellett az SHH ragaszkodik arra, hogy fedhetetlenség és szavahelyítőség sértetlen 
alapelvenként legyenek jelen a hírszobában. A csatorna letényző műsor számai közé tartozó csatatért leginkább felkavaló riportjairól ismert. A műsor legfelkavó részét, kavaró részét Diana Alleres pontron a börtöni tudósításai képezik. Riportjai a csatorna szerint durvák és élethűek. Mégis kritizálják azért, mert a háború erőszakos voltát állítja központja. Minden szépítés nélkül. Abban viszont még a kritikusok is egyetértenek, hogy gyakran elég szemléletes megjelentés ellenére a riportok témája tényekkel alapuló szint tiszta valóság. Hát a hadi állomány elvileg a múltikban lesz érdek feszítő, de hát lehetne Ali Abivánval beszélgetni, információkat magyarázni el a ha nem tudunk valamiről, az első kapcsolati háború, mint tulajdonképpen az emberiség és a túriának közti háborúról magyaráz. Ez egy túrián itt szemben Ez az őrzők. De például aki beszélget, az egy asszári. Bár az asszári fajra az ilyen nem csak női egyedekből áll. Nem váltott gyöntik egy még végszintre akarok menni. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Huerta Memorial Hospital. Welcome to Serta. Szóval lehet venni 3000 ért, hogy növeljük a medikék kapacitásunkat egyet. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Többi a virágok, a válogatók, az édesség, a mélykiratok. Elvére csak dekoráció a mérdők. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. Be safe. Ezt mondja Borkó, Ross. Szerez két különleges páncél öltözetet. Medigé kapacitás. Most ég el. Megszerzett dobot, hogy az Archie mondta ki. Játék. Itt is van egy Avina. Ja. Aféle információs. What? Ez most mi volt itt? <laughs> eh. Akkor mi se elnek a fejre lépek. Ez, ez konkrétan mi? Ez valami... Érdekeszik ez. Ez valami hipa volt itt a játék, vagy ez az, hogy le, hogy le lehetség is. Itt van valami, a micsoda mellett a. Ennél a világ, micsoda mellett itt. Felemel a karakter, a levegő. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouterwoods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. 
The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Admiral Stephen. Dr. Karen Chakwas is a trauma surgeon and a major in the Alliance Navy. She served on the SSV Normandy under both Captain Anderson and Commander Shepard, and was aboard the ship when it was destroyed by the Collectors. She later quit the Alliance in order to rejoin Shepard on the Cerberus-built Normandy SR2. Along with most of the second Normandy's crew, Dr. Chakwas was kidnapped by the Collectors and taken beyond the Omega-4 relay. Commander Shepard, I'm aid physician Dr. Claude Michel. It's a pleasure to meet you. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? Emily, I don't know if you're a master, but you're a master. Claude Michel, I'm a master. How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Under Ash. Hey. It's Shepard. I should have known you'd pull through. You're stubborn. Always were. It scared me pretty bad back there on Mars. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay. I better get back to it. I'll see you soon. Welcome, Commander Shepard. 
One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium. Well, like very good cheese. Tell the Primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyssal. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. <laughs> Shrán Ára, Proteánán Obelisk. Egy valós diplomatának egy bizonyos Proteán Obelixre van volna szüksége. Szerez vissza azt a Shrán Árokból, és vidd el nekem felekbeli nagykövetségre. Még az első rész oda bent van, mászkáltunk a felek, bár az egyébként stézen az volt. A második rész meg lehet, hogy túl dolgolt volt meg inkább. Völgyi tanács. Commander! Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. Um. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. A full-scale invasion. Without your help, Earth will fall. After that, so will everywhere else. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hag. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. 
I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second rate. How can they be so blind? The scared, the looking after themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor, Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Vidorian called the war summit, but. We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Yeah, Ám most így ez, hogy így kimegyek. Hát mit lássak, hát... Hmm. Nem tudom, ott a víz közepén az mi lenne, de... A... Jobbra. Mi a, melyik a középső? Van itt négyet is látok. Hát ez tulajdonképpen a kórház is olyan részegen van. Beépítve. Vagy ott ami leghátul van, nem tudom melyik a hídra gondolsz. Reaper called the Citadel races have classified the known variants of Reapers into four types. Capital ships are sovereign class Reapers two kilometers in length. They typically target the dreadnoughts, defense installations, and industrial cities of organic.
Earth, when humanity won a position on the Council for its population. Nem tudom, hogy ki kíváncsi. Most volt az tőle? Annyira nem nézelettem ott fent, hogy most ott mi van. The council to save their lives and for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth, and the Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. In Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. 
Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing. And with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. Még az atombombánál nagyobb pusztító fegyver nem tudta kitölteni ebbe az idejbe. Az emberek. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course. But the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know. I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries, rose garden stuff. But to have it all gone. Hmm. I should go. I'll be here. I must add that the moment she cried. Az jobbik gépen van a játékos, az élet jobban fut, az erősebb videókkel, hogy kétszer erősebb, mint a másik. Bár egy kicsit emlékezett büké lett dolgoznom, hogy hogyan raktuk a másikra a módokat fel. Kis idegényes volt, de megoldotta. Remélhetőleg. Bár az az első módot, ami annak idején volt, ami több opció közül jött kívül, azt az nem is feltéve rá. Csak a DLC-t nekem mondtak. Na, annyira az ember... Em... Bár most már nem érek, hogy bejelentkezés kül most ahhoz a DLC-vel, ez egyik DLC-vel probléma lenne. Akkor lehet, hogy a... Ha... Azt a... DLC-t most már le tudom játszani, hogy még a... Javikot behozza a játékba. Lehet az a DLC működni fog. Nem tudom, majd kiderül menet közben. Meg a grafikát így. Kezd meg ezt az opciót annyira nem próbálgatta. Meg a múlt itt se nagyon néztem benne, mondjuk. Ja, hát ez mondom, mi rendel van a logni, két pont el, úgyis aktív a logni. Milyen 
lesz ebben, nem lehet el... Itt van egy asztal is nekem, nem? Minden ezt lövés után kell tölteni. A sáskát. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> It's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Commander Shepard, Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. I can't wait for you to see the forty to not. How much? Who Commander Shepard, Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. 
I haven't always spoken kindly of the military. But I'm glad you're on our side. Még sosem szerveztem úgy be, mint a gyállomát. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Hope it don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. <sighs> That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? 
I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? People around me have a tendency to get hurt. Or worse. Ash is just the latest in a long line. She's a soldier like you. And she's a fighter. If anyone can get better on Will alone, it's her. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. Mm. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve on you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how <laughs> attractive your voice was. Anyway, Only shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. No. I went to the party to get a manual. I went to it.